So today's video is going to be a homecoming hairstyle since it's tis the season of homecoming or any other dances that might be coming up for you guys. I just know homecoming is, is coming around but my school's prep dance is coming up pretty soon. So this is good preparation for that. Anyways, I know I'm gonna, I sound a little congested and it's cause I've been sick, but trust me, you're gonna be more concerned about the hairstyle than how my voice is sounding on camera, so it doesn't matter. So, let's get on to it. Okay, so to start off, I just parted my hair on the left side of my head, and then I'm just gonna grab a piece of hair near the top like that, so it's kind of separate. And then I'm going to go down here and take some hair out too. So then I have like these two loose hairs that we're going to fix later on. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a piece from the top and divide it into three sections. And then I'm just going to start a Dutch braid by crossing the pieces under each other and then I'm gonna add some hair in from the top and it's gonna be a pretty good size section because I want this br uh, whole hairstyle to be pretty um, loose and messy so I'm just gonna add some hair in each time Once I get to like my third or fourth stitch, I'm going to go back to my first stitch and just kind of tug on it to make it loose. Because if you wait till the very end to do this, your braid won't, you won't be able to like get it as big as you could. So like every other stitch I do, I'm just going to make sure I go back and tug on the braid. But not the whole thing, just like the few stitches before it. And I'm just going to keep adding in hair. And then once I get to about my ear, I'm just going to quit adding in more hair and just braid my hair normal. And make sure you're going back and still loosening up the braid. So I'm just going to stop and tie it off. And then I'm just going to go back and loosen the braid up a little more. And then I'm going to go over here on this side and do the same thing with the extra loose hairs in the front. And just kind of bring them out on this side as well. So I, you don't have to tie these off if you don't want to, but my hair just kind of gets stuck together if I don't do anything about it, so. Alright, so this next part, what we're going to do, I'm going to take this hair from over here, and I'm just going to grab a section just near the back and give it a little twist. Take a bobby pin and just stick it in between the twists so it will hold its place like that. And then I'm going to take another section close to that twist and also twist that strand. And then I'll take a bobby pin and bobby pin it into place. Then I'll just take one more piece and twist it and take a bobby pin and stick it in. Okay, so now that we have those three twists, I'm going to take the rest of my hair, not my braid, and I'm going to make sure that I leave my hair just kind of over my ear, just so my ear, my ear, <laughs> ear doesn't just kind of stick out funny. And I'll just take all of this hair, add my elastic, tie it around. By this point, you can take out your little elastic if you use one for these hairs in the front. 
And I'm just going to take this hair in the back. And I'm just going to take pieces of my hair. And I'm just going to kind of roll it up like that. Just kind of roll it in till it tucks in like that. And then I'll take my bobby pin and pin it into place. And I'll just grab some more hair, wrap it around. Alright, so once you have your bun the way you like it, you can go ahead and take your braid now. And you really can decide which way you want to put it, whether you want to put it up and around the bun or under the bun. But I preferably like it over my bun, so you're pretty much just going to take it and wrap it around your bun. And all the, if you have extra hair like I do, I'm just going to take it and just kind of twist it around my finger. And take a bobby pin up under the rest of the bun. And then you can just kind of use bobby pins to secure like your braid so it doesn't stick up funny. And then you can kind of just go back to those twists that we did early on and just kind of tug on them a little bit. But I just think the twists kind of like accent your hair in the back. So really they're optional, but it's up to you. And then I'm just going to take my curling iron and go back to these hairs we pulled out earlier and just curl them so they add a little bit of accent to the hair. But other than that, you will be finished. So now I'll do the final spin. Uh, Ta-da! Thank you so, so much for watching. You know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button if you loved it. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button right over here. And you can also check out some of my latest hairstyles by clicking the box over here. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!